owning a bandsaw that is buried so deep in your barn that it'd probably take you two days to dig it out. I definitely need my bandsaw. So my next option is to find somebody with a bandsaw that will allow me to use it. Well, my buddy Dale has one. In a quarter of a mile, left turn. Okay. My buddy Dale has one. I don't think his garage is heated, but I don't care, as long as it works. Next left. Seriously? I'm trying to talk here, lady. What am I cutting? That. What is it? It's pick guard for a guitar. And I'm not working on the guitar. This is actually for the motorcycle. I'll show you what those are for in a little while. What the f going on here? What is... Come on. What is happening? Welcome back to my channel. I've been binge watching Itchy Boots lately. Ooh. All right, what am I working on? I'm working on motorcycles, I'm working on guitars, I'm working on two motorcycles, I'm working on one, two, three, four, four guitars. Oh man, I went to Dale's last night, got to use this bandsaw, that was great. Cause mine seems to be missing in action. Uh, I was cutting up pick guard, right. pick guard for guitars. I got a whole, I got piles of this stuff. Um, basically this, this is what it looks like. This type is, is perloid. I have all different colors. Any color you can think of. Gold blue, here's some blue. Some vintage white. This guitar right here that I'm working on, I'm making a, out of this little piece right here, a truss rod cover. The truss rod, as you can see, is wide open. And what you do is just, I don't know, cut this up in a really cool looking shape. And, um, this you just you're gonna mount it over that slot so you don't see that anymore. This piece, this blue tape on here, so I don't scratch it. It actually comes with a clear coating on it, and I peeled it off for some stupid reason. So this tape, so I don't scratch it. That's the shape I need, and it's actually for the backside to cover this. This piece, once I get it cut to shape, will fit right in that spot. I still have to make a pick guard for the front right here. I don't know if I'm just going to cover this hole or actually go all the way over. I don't know. This is where all your controls go, your volume, tone. But we're not actually here to talk about guitars. But what we are here for is to talk about what this is. I will be mounting a Harley Batwing fairing on the Drifter when I'm uh, like doing long trips. Not really around town or anything. It's, it's just to stop the wind from hitting. When you're doing highway speeds, that's a pain in the butt. The fairing normally had a radio mounted right here. I had to cut that all off because it was in the way. Plus, I'm not running a radio. Had four gauges and two big speakers. I'm not running gauges, not running a radio, definitely not running speakers. So I had to figure out a way just to hide those. I have a whole bunch of this pick guard, so I'm gonna cut it down to shape. This one right here will fit right in this little, I don't know if you can see, that little mark right there this will fit in here not yet i haven't actually shaped it completely yet it's a rough cut this will fit here and cover up all those gauges these are just rough cut also these are going to fit back here and basically hide this where the speaker holes were i have another one that hole in the top there's normally a vent right here that comes into the front of the fairing and blows up well i don't have that vent I was just gonna block it off with one of, with this. When I was up at the Harley dealership last week, they recommend that I still have a vent in there for many reasons. It helps with the buffeting. Because these things, even if they're mounted, they still wanna shake a little. But Harley figured out that little vent, little air comes out, it doesn't blow on you. It blows pretty much straight up. So this, I'm still gonna use this to cover the hole. I'm just gonna make my own vent. I'm gonna cut a hole in this. The air is gonna blow up through it. Remember, this is not a permanent thing. I'm not gonna have this permanently mounted on my bike. It's just a, whenever I'm 
out riding down the highway or taking long trips. I'm gonna have this, my saddlebags on the back. Otherwise, I like that bike all stripped down, nothing on it. Um, oh yeah, and there's this piece. I know, you can't tell. Let me see if you can see what I drew on there. I gotta cut this out on my, right on the gas tank. I guess they call it the dash, I don't know. The gauge, there's my gauge fits right here and this sets below it. Those three circles that I have drawn, I gotta drill those out and that's where the warning lights go. Actually, the middle one is a blinker. I think one is oil pressure and the other I believe is water temp. So this perloid, I'm just gonna cut it out because it just has an ugly piece of chrome on there right now and I think it's hideous. So I'm gonna use this. And then when I get my bike repainted eventually, I'm gonna paint it blue metal flake. I'm probably gonna remake this part out of this awesome blue perloid right here. I'm gonna leave all this black because this will stay painted black. No matter what color my bike is, the inner fairing will be black. So I'm working on two bikes right now, working on the fairing for the drifter. Now that I have the dual sport up on the lift, I'll be able to get that rear wheel off. Probably have to cut the tire off. That's a 42 year old tire. Yeah, it's 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 not rubber anymore. It's It doesn't flex. Then get the tire changed, get the new sprocket on the back, get all that mounted up. I just gotta get that bike ready before spring. Been really looking in this moto camping. I've been camping all my life, but I've never just taken my stuff on a motorcycle to go camping. I think I'll try that. So I gotta build some brackets for the back of the dual sport, mount the tents and whatever else I have. Well, I guess for now, that's it. Let's just, uh, oh, head off into the garage, start pulling that bike apart. Baby's got new shoes. All right, the fun part. The old tires are more plastic than they are rubber. So they're going to be a little difficult to take off. Probably gonna have to cut them off. Get out the cutting wheel and the bolt cutters, I'll be just fine. So the rest of this video is just gonna be me removing the rear wheel. I'm probably gonna take the seat off, the side covers, and I think the rear fender. I have a different fender off an XR250. It's longer, it actually angles down a little, has a lot smaller tail light on it. I think it'll look better. Instead of running the XL250 gas tank, I might be switching it to an XR250. It's the one I'm taking the fender off. I will show you that. I have that bike up in the barn. I'm gonna start stripping a bunch of cool parts off that. Hopefully they fit this bike. It's supposed to be the same bike, just more of a, what they call a trail bike or an enduro bike. I'm having problems with my heater. So I gotta hurry this up. Getting cold in here. So anyways, enough talking. I'm just gonna start stripping this bike down. We're getting there. I gotta have this done before spring. All right, I'll be back. Talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running Coming for the throne. 
take it I've come to take it King of the rise and the fall Not too happy. What a pain in the butt. All right. I got a good look at this a few days ago. Most of this oil I see all over the engine is not coming out of the engine. I thought it was. It's actually coming out of the fork seals. The fork seals are shot, which is fine. I was gonna take these off and rebuild them anyways. That just means this engine isn't as bad as I thought. I'm definitely going to change as many gaskets as I can. I just did not want to have to pull off the cylinder, the jug, the piston, 
Ugh. I think it was just the oil squirting up out of here onto my engine. So I guess that's it for this video. My heater for some reason keeps shutting off, so I'm gonna just call it quits. Well, let me clean up my mess. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for sticking around. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button and definitely hit that bell icon. That'll give you notifications for every time I load up a new video. I'll see you soon.